This was a week where the so-called transitory inflation got stomped. It appears the core consumer and producer prices are increasing at rates not seen in decades. Inflation prints with CPI, PPI, import-export prices, and University of Michigan inflation expectations are flying. Buyer sentiment for homes, cars, and durables crashed due to the soaring prices, and apparently stocks didn't like it. S&P 500 e-muni futures printed all-time highs in 13 of the last 16 sessions, but this was the first weekly drop in the Nasdaq since mid-May, the worst week for the Russell 2000 since January 2021, and the worst week for small caps since October of 2020. Still, in congressional testimony on Wednesday and Thursday, Fed Reserve Chair Powell suggested it was still too early for the central bank to step in and dial back on the ultra-accommodative monetary policies to rein in inflation because the labor market and other areas of the economy still need to recover more fully from the pandemic. It's like trying to get an unemployed worker back to work when unemployment pays better. And it reminds me of Steeler's Wheel, where there are clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. And so, let's take a look at the charts. And today we're going to take a look at the one-year daily chart on the Spiders, the SPY. And the close on Friday was 4.31.34 with a couple of days of downtrend. But going back here to, say, September of last year, and then all the way through the current time frame, you have this bottom line moving up through there, and then the top of the channel line moving up through like that. Not real straight lines, but you get the idea. Now... Since this point in time, and perhaps even further back, we've been doing some nice cycling and nice movement all the way through this channel line, very controlled, all the way through here. Now, we got to the midpoint, and we're turning back, but I don't think that's anything unusual. We might have to pay a little bit more attention to that. I think we're going to come down here to the 50 EMA, and we didn't go back to the top of that channel line, but still... We're within the channel lines, so let's just see where this goes. I'm expecting something down here to, say, the 50 EMA, and not really much more. If we do get further below that, then some red flags will start flashing, but we'll know. We'll have an idea. Here into volume, nothing unusual there. And then into the MAC, we're not very elevated. We're at about a 4 we're on our way down. I would imagine we'll come on down, and as we have, going all the way back through here, we'll probably reverse somewhere near that zero line or above. And it may get below. And if it gets below, we'll be watching that, but still, I don't think that's significantly negative. Moving on into the histogram. Very nice, controlled, oscillating above and below that zero line. That's what you want. Nice and balanced. Here, same thing, and the price rate of change. We're at that uh, 6.239 above that zero line, and it looks like we have nice oscillation up and down above and below that zero line. Same thing here in the RSI. We're at a moderately weak 48.30 on our way down, but I would imagine we'll get down to this level here and perhaps bounce back. And if we do, all things are still typical and normal here in stochastics. Nice oscillation, nice cycles all the way through here. For the most part, we've been above that midline or 50 line. A few times we go down below. We may go down below this time, but that is nothing out of the ordinary. Into the Williams, same thing there. So for the most part, this is a garden variety pullback at best. Back up here to the price chart. One last look. And until we go well below that 50 EMA, I'm not going to be alerted. And I don't see anything that says that we're going to head down below there, at least not right now. For the most part, we find very nice oscillating 
and cycling through. And I think we're just in another downtrend, a garden variety downtrend. So continue to be patient. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.